Hey guys, welcome back, and today I am going to be ranking these 10 dressage horses into 5 different categories based on how good they are for star stable dressage. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we are gonna start off with the OG Frigians. I love these horses so much. And I'm honestly so sad that they are gone now. Well, they're not gone, but you know, they're not really used. So I don't really know where to rank this horse. I would say don't buy. I think these horses deserve so much more respect than they have right now, but they are so beautiful at the same time and if i could bring them back into clubs i definitely would because they're so beautiful and their gates are just stunning um now next we have the generation 3 frasian these horses are probably going to go in spectacular because they are used in almost every club and honestly their gates work super well for star stable dressage really pretty horse Okay, now we have the Percheron. Um, not my fave. <laughs> uh, these horses are really big. I almost want to say way too big. Um, and their gates, mm, they're just, I feel like they're just too extravagant, kind of. And they're just the, like, horse style and just everything about it. Mm, I don't know. Now we have the Lusitanos. I honestly think these horses are good, but I feel like their gates have been pretty copied and they're just not so special anymore. Like nothing about this horse is overly special. And the same goes for Andalusians. So they're good, but like they're not very unique, you know? Um, Hanoverians, gosh, I don't really know. I feel like Hanoverians are pretty old now, so I'm not going to place them on the top or middle-ish. Like, their body is just... I feel like they could get an upgrade from the Star Stable horse team or whatever. Um, but I will say they do look like stunning horses. Their gates are really good. So I'm going to say decent for now. Ooh, okay. Even though Lipizzaners are old... Their gates are beautiful, and I think that just overrides everything that's bad about them. So I'm going to put it in good, just because they're a little bit old. Nabstruppers, oh my gosh, where do we start? Now, with these horses, I don't know. I feel like they've been around for a while, and they're pretty new. Mm, I would say good. Like, I know people have a lot against Nabstruppers, but their gates are pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like their big hooves just make them more dressage horses. Um, so I'm gonna put them in good. Um, the only thing I don't like about these horses are that the coats are like, eh. I feel like the coats could be more special and just like, ugh, the colors aren't just that attractive, so. Um, onto the Arabians. I feel like a lot of people love the Arabians, and I do too. Their, like, high tails are perfect. They look super beautiful doing the curls, very bouncy. So, definitely in spectacular. Lastly, we have the Marwaris. Okay, I actually kind of love the Marwaris because they're so... I feel like they look fragile, almost. And I think SSO did a really good job with the coats. I feel like there should be mo more coat variations, but overall, really beautiful gates. Okay, so that's my ranking. I'm actually kind of surprised that none of them landed in Never Ever. But hey, that is what we got for today. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want me to do more horse ranking. That was kind of fun, very fast. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.